Hello, karibu endelee kujifunza na hapa tunaendelea na hamasa ya tisa, motivation 9. Na katika motivation 9, hamasa ya tisa, tutaangalia hadithi inayohusu wavulana wawili mapacha na baba yao ambaye alikuwa ni mlevi wa kupendukia. Na hadithi hii itatufundisha maneno kadhaa ya Kiingereza, baadhi ya vifungu vya maneno lakini pia baadhi ya sentensi za Kiingereza ambazo yumkini hau, ulikuwa hauzifahamu au hauzijui au ukiiona hauwezi kuelewa maana yake moja kwa moja. Kwa kupitia hadithi tutajifunza mambo mawili. Tutajifunza hayo maneno, vifungu vya maneno na baadhi ya sentensi hapa ambazo yumkini hauzielewi ukizi, ukiziona kwa kuzisoma au pia kwa kuzisikia hauwezi kuzielewa. Lakini pia tutapata funzo linalotokana na hadithi hii kwa sababu tunajua kwamba hadithi yoyote lazima iwe na funzo ndani yake. Kwa hiyo funzo litakalopatikana katika hadithi hii linaweza ikakusaidia wewe moja kwa moja katika maisha yako au pia likakusaidia kumwelekeza mtu mwingine masuala yanayohusu maisha. Tuanze moja kwa moja na sentensi ya kwanza au kipengele cha kwanza katika hadithi hii. Two twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father. Two twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father. Tuanze taratibu. Two twin boys inamaanisha wavulana wawili mapacha au mapacha wawili wavulana. Were raised inamaanisha walilelewa. Kwa hiyo Two twin boys were raised the manisha of Lana Wilma mapacha wali lelewa by an alcoholic father in a manisha na baba mlevi wakupendukia by an alcoholic father na baba mlevi wakupendukia Kianzia hapo two twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father in a manisha of Lana Wilma mapacha wali lelewa na baba mlevi wakupendukia au pia unaweza kusema baba ambaye ni mlevi kupendukia au baba ambaye alikuwa ni mlevi kupendukia kwa sababu tunaongelea katika wakati uliopita Tukiendelea mbele hapa tunapata one grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened he said i watched my father Hiki kipande kinakuwa One grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened he said I watched my father. Tukianza taratibu. One grew up to be an alcoholic na maanisha mmoja alikuwa kuwa mlevi. Kwa tafsiri ya maneno yaliyopo kwenye sentence lakini kwa tafsiri ambayo itakuwa ni rahisi zaidi kuielewa ni mmoja alikuwa na kuwa mlevi. One grew up to be an, an alcoholic. One grew up to be an alcoholic. Mmoja alikuwa na kuwa mlevi and When asked what happened and when asked what happened ina maanisha na alipoulizwa nini kilitokea na alipoulizwa nini kilitokea and when asked what happened he said alisema I watched my father I watched my father ina maanisha nilimwangalia baba yangu au nilimtazama baba yangu Hapa mpaka hapa nitasoma kwa Kiingereza na maana kwa Kiswahili One grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened he said I watched my father. Mmoja alikuwa na kuwa mlevi na alipoulizwa nini kilitokea alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu au nilimtazama baba yangu. Ikiwa na maanisha kwamba alilewa au alikuwa na kuwa mlevi kwa sababu alimwangalia baba yake akiwa analewa. Kwa maana yake alimwangalia baba yake akiwa analewa na yeye kutokea hapo akaamua kuwa mlevi au kwa namna rahisi alibona babake akiwa na lewa na yeye akaamua kuwa mlevi. Kwa labda akajua kwamba maisha ndio hayo. Maisha ni ni kukua na kuwa mlevi. Twende katika upande wa pili. The other grew up and never drank in his life. The other grew up and never drank in his life. Inaanisha the other inaanisha mwingine. The other mwingine. The other grew up mwingine alikuwa and never drank and never drank ina maanisha na hakuwahi kunywa kamwe au na hakunywa kamwe inayomaanisha kunywa pombe hakunywa kamwe ikiwa na maanisha pombe maana yake hakwenda kwenye ulevi kama alivyoenda mwanzake in his life na maanisha katika maisha yake au kwenye maisha yake hapa mpaka hapa tunapata the other grew up and never drank in his life mwingine alikuwa na hakunywa kamwe katika maisha yake kwa namna rahisi unaweza kusema na hakulewa kamwe katika maisha yake kwa namna nyingine pia na hakuwahi kunywa pombe kamwe katika maisha yake. Tuendelee mbele. When he was asked what happened, he said, I watched my father. Hapa mpaka hapa. 
when he was asked what happened he said i watched my father inayo maanisha alipoulizwa nini kilitokea au ni nini kilitokea alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu au nilimtazama baba yangu kama mwanzo tu vile when he was asked na maanisha alipoulizwa when he was asked kwa hiyo ambao umekuwa mfuatiliaji mzuri wa, ma, wa masomo yale ya passive voice hapa ushangae nini kin, kinafanyika au ni kwa nini tafsiri ni hiyo ni kwa nini tafsiri ni alipoulizwa au wakati alipoulizwa what happened ina maanisha nini kilitokea au kitu gani kilitokea he said alisema i watched my father nilimwangalia baba yangu au nilimtazama baba yangu kwa hiyo huyu wa pili naye ambaye hakuwahi kunywa kama katika maisha yake naye alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu maana yake aliyelewa alie alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu na ambaye hakulewa alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu maana yake watu wawili walimwangalia mtu mmoja lakini waka, wakana na maamuzi mawili tofauti hapa mbele anaendelea na kusema two boys same dad two different perspectives hapa mpaka hapa two boys same dad two different perspectives taratibu two boys wavulana wawili same dad inamaanisha baba mmoja au baba yule yule two different perspectives inamaanisha mitazamo miwili tofauti two different perspectives mitazamo miwili tofauti two boys same dad two different perspectives wavulana wawili baba mmoja mitazamo miwili tofauti kama nilivyokuwa nimesema mwanzo wavulana wawili wote wale mtazamo baba anayeelewa mmoja akaamua kuwa mlevi mmoja akaamua kuachana na ulevi tuangalie funzo lililopo sasa katika hadithi hii your perspective in life will determine your destination your perspective in life will determine your destination mwanzo mpaka mwisho na maanisha mtazamo wako katika maisha utaamua mwisho wako mtazamo wako katika maisha utaamua mwisho wako ambapo your perspective ndio inamaanisha mtazamo wako your perspective in life katika maisha au kwenye maisha will determine utaamua kwa sababu tunazungumzia mtazamo utaamua your destination your destination inamaanisha mwisho wako maana vile unavyoishi au mawazo yale na vitu ulivyoviona vikakusababisha uishi vile hivyo vitu vitasababisha uwe na mwisho wa aina fulani maana kwa mfano kama huyu kijana aliyemtazama baba yake akiwa mlevi akaamua kuwa mlevi maana maisha yake aliishia kule kule ambako maisha baba yake aliishia lakini yule ambaye aliamua kuwa na mtazamo tofauti maana yake akaamua kuachana na masuala ya ulevi maana yake mwisho wake ulikuwa tofauti na ule mwisho wa baba yake kwa sababu hakuishi sawa sawa na vile baba yake alivyoishi kwa hiyo katika maisha hapa tunajifunza kwamba ukitaka kufanya kitu fulani na kupata matokeo fulani maana yake inabidi uangalie wengine wameishi vipi na wameishia wapi kwa hiyo kama utaishi kama vile walivyoishi utaishia pale pale walipoishia lakini ukiamua kuishi tofauti na vile walivyoishi basi utaishia sehemu tofauti lakini hii pia ikiwa bado ina maana mbili maana kama waliishi vizuri ukiishi vizuri kama wao utaishia mahali pazuri kama waliishi vizuri wewe ukaishi kwa mtazamo tofauti ukaishi vibaya maana yake utaishia pabaya kama waliishi vibaya ukafuatisha vile 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 walivyoishi vibaya ukaishi vibaya nawe pia utaishia pabaya lakini kama waliishi vibaya wewe ukawa na mtazamo tofauti ukaamua kuishi kwa namna nzuri basi utaishia mahali pazuri ambapo wao hawakuishia. Kwa hiyo mtazamo ulio nao katika maisha kwa sababu ule mtazamo ulio nao ndio utakao amua matendo yako, maneno yako na mwenendo wako katika maisha kwa ujumla. Kwa hiyo ule mtazamo ulio nao ndio utakao amua wapi utaishia. Inaweza kuwa ni ule mwisho kabisa ambao ni hatima ya maisha yako yote ya hapa duniani lakini pia inaweza kuwa ni mwisho katika jambo fulani. Kwa mfano kama ni mwanafunzi ukiishi kama wanafunzi wengine wanavyoishi utaishia pale wanapoishia. Kwa hiyo kama kuna mwanafunzi ambaye aliishi kwa namna fulani na hakufaulu mitiani, ukimfuatisha utaishia alipoishia. Kama kuna mwanafunzi aliishi kwa namna njema, akafaulu utaishia pale pale alipoishia kama utamfuatisha yeye. Kwa hiyo ule mtazamo ulio nao utaamua wapi utaishia kulingana na vile ambavyo wengine wamekuwa wakiishia katika maisha yao au katika mambo mbalimbali mbali wanayoyafanya. Kwa hiyo ni msingi sana kuwa na mtazamo sahihi kuhusu maisha ili uishie mahali sahihi katika maisha au katika mambo mbalimbali mbali katika maisha. Baada ya kuwa nimetoa ufafanuzi huo wote kwa Kiswahili, basi nirudi tena nisome hadithi yote mwanzo mpaka mwisho kwa Kiingereza mara moja na nitoe tafsiri ya Kiswahili mara moja 
kisha nitamalizia kwa kuisoma mara mbili nitasoma mara moja kwa Kiingereza mwanzo mpaka mwisho ili uone kama unaweza ukaelewa uka kila kitu katika hadithi hii nikisoma kwa Kiingereza tu na pia nitarudia mara ya pili ili kukupa nafasi nyingine tena ya kusikiliza lakini bado mwenyewe unaweza ukajipa nafasi nyingi za kusikiliza mwanzo mpaka mwisho ufafanuzi kwa Kiswahili na kusikiliza kwa Kiingereza tu mpaka ifiki hatua ambapo ukisikia kwa Kiingereza unaielewa yote bila shida lakini pia unaweza kuchukua vipande hapa na ukamfundishia mtu mwingine bila kuwa na shida yoyote nirudi tena mwanzo mpaka mwisho two twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father one grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened he said i watched my father the other grew up and never drank in his life when he was asked what happened he said i watched my father two boys same dad two different perspectives your perspective in life will determine your destination kwa kiswahili wavulana wawili mapacha walilelewa na baba mlevi wa kupendukia mmoja alikuwa na kuwa mlevi na alipoulizwa nini kilitokea au kitu gani kilitokea alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu mwingine alikuwa na hakunywa kamwe katika maisha yake au na hakuwahi kunywa kamwe katika maisha yake alipoulizwa nini kilitokea au kitu gani kilitokea alisema nilimwangalia baba yangu wavulana wawili baba yule yule mitazamo miwili tofauti mtazamo wako katika maisha utaamua mwisho wako mtazamo wako katika maisha utaamua mwisho wako nisome tena kwa Kiingereza mara mbili nianze mara ya kwanza Two twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father. One grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened, he said, "I watched my father." The other grew up and never drank in his life. When he was asked what happened, he said, "I watched my father." Two boys, same dad, two different perspectives. Your perspective in life will determine your destination. Nisome kwa mara ya mwisho. Two twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father. One grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened he said, "I watched my father." The other grew up and never drank in his life. When he was asked what happened he said, "I watched my father." Two boys, same dad, two different perspectives. Your perspective in life will determine your destination. Your perspective in life will determine your destination. Ikiwa unahitaji kupata somo lingine leo katika mfululizo wa masomo ya Kiingereza cha kuongea utaenda YouTube sehemu ya kutafuta video kisha utaandika kwa mfano somo la kwanza Kiingereza cha kuongea ikiwa unatafuta somo la kwanza lakini kwa mfano kama unataka somo la kumi, utaandika somo la kumi Kiingereza cha kuongea na kadhalika kwa utakuwa unabadilisha ile namba ya somo tu lakini maneno yote unatumia hayo hayo ili kupata somo tofauti